What's the worst that can happen? That's a question I get asked all the time. I have a degree in catastrophe from a small college in the Northeast, where I learned all the ways that things fall apart. I'm a field agent in what could happen. I can let you know what could happen if a city bus full of people was taken hostage and then got stuck in a freak blizzard during rush hour traffic on a structurally unstable overpass. So what's the worst that can happen? More than you can possibly imagine. Hi, Ryan. This is Nina Morgan. Uh, we talked a few days ago about maybe setting up a home inspection. I think I'd like to go ahead and do it. I'm around this afternoon. Actually, I'm pretty much always around. Um, please come by anytime. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Oh, thanks. We just moved in about a month ago from across the country for my husband's job. So you're basically the first person I've met here, <laughs> except for checkout girl at the grocery. <laughs> anyway, I guess I just wanted to see what could happen to the baby in this new house. I'm sure that everything is just fine. Believe me, nothing's yeah. ever fine. There's always something that can go horribly wrong. Child in the home, case scenarios, room, kitchen. The drawer is filled with assorted utensils, some dull, some sharp. Precarious precipice, overhang is 56 inches from the counter. I was gonna move those, actually. I never used them anyway. Do you drink this water? Home is directly beneath an airport flight path. Yeah, you know, the realtor didn't mention that. Question number eight. Do you or your spouse abuse any alcohol or drugs? No. Methadone, PCP? No. Good. Do you ever put your child down somewhere for more than a few hours and forget about her? No, of course not. Have you ever dared your child to do something you normally would not do? She doesn't even talk yet, and I would never. But how many questions are there? Number 300, last question. Do you or your husband wear socks to bed at night? Mm, sorry, uh, no, no, we don't. Okay, good. That's about it. Um, you're gonna hear from me in about a week or so. Okay. What are you doing? Just getting a glass of wine. But what if we're out of wine? Possible scenario. Stella needs to go to the liquor store and meets a man with a thick head of hair. He helps her choose a roan. No, a Marcinet. A Marcinet Rosé. She marries him three months later. I end up with a woman who later turns out to have a rare genetic disorder, possibly San Filippo syndrome type C. She dies, leaving me a widower alone. Did you miss me that much? <laughs> I just want to warn you, your house is highly susceptible to worst case scenarios. So I put together some of the worst, worst case scenarios. I'm just gonna... All right, here we go. Let's get started, okay? Possible scenario number one. You drop a glass jar of preserves on the floor. The jar breaks and you have to clean it up, and you do, and uh, you miss a few pieces of glass. A few days later, your daughter crawls into the kitchen and she presses her hand into a stray shard of glass. Uh, the cut becomes gangrenous and the arm has to be amputated. All right, next one. A baseball crashes through the window, hits the oven vent, then the door jam, and then a framed photo on the wall. 
that photo falls and crushes your daughter. It, it kills her instantly. She doesn't suffer. Possible scenario 25. Scenario? Scenario. I say the word so many times. You're distracted while you're on the phone, and you don't notice that your daughter crawls right into the basement. Uh, she gets stuck in, in a duct. Oh, my God. She's attacked by a family of rats. A flock of migrating geese, they just fly right over your home, right through the path, and uh, it's a poorly maintained 757. The landing gear, they just fall off, and uh, oh. they kill everyone. Um, specifically during a, during a backyard barbecue with family and friends. If you have any questions or concerns, and please don't hesitate to call me. Yeah. 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 Ryan, can't you just turn it off sometimes for me? It's only a softball game, and you're not at work right now. Your team's down 24 to 2. I want to start a company called Look on the Bright Side, which goes to each business right after you do and shows them all the good things that could happen. But no one's going to hire you. People expect bad things to happen. They hope good things are going to happen. Good things just make people nervous. What's the worst case scenario right now? possible scenario. That guy hits a home run. The ball flies out of the field and crashes through the windshield of a car driving on the street, killing the driver on impact. That car jumps the median and crashes headfirst onto oncoming traffic, causing a massive pileup. A truck carrying hazardous material crashes in that pileup and explodes, triggering a chain reaction, exploding cars that go 50 yards in either direction. The commotion causes panic. Several people get trampled on in the stampede. One person falls onto and crushes a small dog on the sidewalk. And your, your team loses the game, of course. They're horrible. I'm leaving. I'm sadder than I was before I met you. I'm happier than I was before I met you. Possible scenario. Ryan speaking. I can't sleep anymore. I have terrible dreams of animated figures getting attacked by rats and being crushed by landing gears. I'm sorry. But you wanted to know. Most likely you to know. Nina? You still there? You know, I love my little girl. We had to try for three years uh, with fertility drugs before we had her. Anyway, I showed my husband the animations that 
you did and the data. He just laughed. Said he could have come up with that on his own if he was that sort of person. Told me not to worry about it. Then he told me he wished he knew what a basket case I was before he married me. Now when he's asleep, I just, I just stare at him and I want to punch him hard in the face. I want to create a disaster. Oh God, help me. Get the hell away from my house, you freak! Ugh, wait, 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 look, look, I just want... I just... You're the guy that gave my wife all that bullshit information, aren't you? You've reached Ryan. Please leave a message. I, I just wanted to know what the worst could be for my baby, and... For it to not be that bad. I wish you could show me how to live with all these things. You must know how to accept them. I'm sorry about last night. I reopened your case and took another look. I entered new data and explored the probabilities. I quantified the maybes and the maybe nots. The results show that the most likely scenario as opposed to the worst case scenario, is that your daughter will grow up healthy and strong and that she'll be safe. One can assume that she'll fall in love and that she might get married. It's plausible that she'll have children of her own and a fulfilling career. She will presumably live into old age. What's the best that can happen? More than you can possibly imagine. What's her name? Oh, Alexis. Hey there, Alexis. Possible scenario. 